Today I just wanted to show you something that I'm working on. Uh, and by the way, I'm at my parents' house and I didn't bring my Linux uh, laptop. I only brought my uh, laptop from work, uh, MacBook Pro. <coughs> so that's why I'm not running Linux right now. Uh, but anyways, um, what I'm working on is a content management system. And it looks like this. Um, i am currently started the setup of the uh, content management system and uh, I'm running the setup. And what a content management system is, it's something that you administrate the content. It's a tool for administrating the content on your website. Um, like WordPress, if you know what that is. So. Let's run the install. Follow this guide and we will get your website ready for you together. So when you first launch the content management system, it wants you to uh, create an administrator. So I'm just going to use admin, admin, admin. Hit next, complete. And then I have to log in, admin, admin, log in. So now I'm inside the administration panel. And um, how this content, content management system works is that you uh, create templates and put, and then you put them in a folder and then you tell the content management system where that folder is. Uh, so as you can see here in my config file, I've told the CMS that the um, project is inside of this path and I'm using the database folio man. And here is the the that folder that I'm pointing the templates there to. Um, so I got my layout and then I got my index and generic. So how this works is that I go to the administration system and I click pages and I create a new one and let's do index this will be the front page and then I want to use the index.html template that we saw here I hit save and now I can click edit on site so now I'm here I'm at the root of the site the front page uh, the front page this is how it works you can edit your data live you can edit the content live, unlike other content management systems. Welcome to my website. And as you can see, there are some other editable fields here as well. Um, like the footer. This is the footer. Uh, hello world. And we can type something here. Uh, fun page yo and I can save it and if I go here again it's still there and if I log out from the content management system uh, the text is still here but I can't edit it I cannot edit the text because I'm not logged in uh, so yeah that's how it works and I can also if I go log in again create a new page and I can call this like some whatever like whatever and I want to use generic oh, generic edit on site and whatever dude this page is meaningful save. So now I create a new page called whatever and I'm using the generic.html template for it. So you can see here that the header has two editable areas. Generic title, generic disk. Generic title, generic disk. And the main has one editable area which is, which is generic text. Here. 
And these are also editable, but uh, in another way. You can see the theme can have a db.json where those fields exist. So here is the title. It's the title that you see here. And we have the address phone email here. Uh, I could just edit the db.json file, but that is not how you should do it. Uh, you should go to admin and do theme db, and then you can change it here. So I'm going to put in another address, another address 13, some random number. Uh, let's do another email, my.email at mycompany.com. Let's change the title to super cool site. So now if we go to the index, you can see a super cool site and this these are changed as well. So we can see in the <coughs> index.html we can see that the um, where's the footer? Oh it's in site layout. In site layout, we can see, see that the footer is using a db, db footer address, db footer phone, db footer email. It's a not, not an editable area. So, yeah. So, that is basically how the content management system works. Uh, this is what I have been working on for a while now. Um, so, yeah. Uh, the GitHub uh, link to this repository will be in the description. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one and also uh, this CMS is written in Python um, uh, if you are into that stuff uh, so yeah I'll see you in the next video thank you for watching